Tim, what are you and I doing today? We are gonna go film a cool video that has noob in it. That's right, guys. You heard it here first. Noob is making a comeback. We gotta go, we gotta go pick him up first. Yeah, it's true. Um, he's a little out of practice. He hasn't fired a weapon in, in, a, a, long in a long time. But we believe that he will be able to perform, so we'll see. Uh, now we're gonna go uh, just wing this. Uh, yeah. We didn't really look for a location or anything. We're just going to drive out in the middle of uh, this area and see if we can find something that we can film at. Because that's how we do it sometimes. We found a spot, right? Yeah, found a spot. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how we do it. We just we just drive somewhere and find a spot. We literally found this spot in like five minutes. Yep, it was, that's actually, how, it was uh, the first spot we found and it was good enough, so we're gonna film there. Yep. <laughs> All right guys, so today I am building the HAL 9000. We're building a panel to build him for this video. He's gonna be near the end of the video, uh, and uh, this it's gonna be pretty funny, I think, this scene. I, I came up with this scene uh, and worked out the details with, with Zeb, and I, I think we're gonna, you guys are gonna enjoy this scene. All right guys, for the uh, HAL 9000, things that you least suspect, I found these little ball basketball games. I'm just gonna cut this off, and then we have our HAL 9000 thing for our panel. All right, so after a few hours and a little bit of paint, we have our HAL 9000 ready to film with. Hey HAL, can you uh, make me a sandwich? I don't think so, Tim. Oh, come on, man. Now you guys, I wanna to touch on something that we don't talk about all the time, and that is YouTube. So one of the reasons that we are doing this now, um, adding the vlog and the behind the scenes to the channel, is because YouTube is hard. Like. We post videos maybe once a month, once every two months, and even in this winter we were a little lackadaisical and only posted, you know, once every couple months. And it's actually hurting our channel. And in order to compete with YouTube, we need to post more. And also this is a good chance for interaction between you guys and us. Um, because we want to talk to you more. We notice that a lot of you guys don't really engage with our videos. It's a lot of the people from the outside that come in. And so hopefully this is an opportunity for you guys to get your voice heard and know that we read every single comment that comes up onto the channel. All right, Freaking Radsters, we are going to finish off today's uh, vlog with a little bit of audience appreciation. Question from Ed T, where did you guys get the Galahorn prop? Um, also, Bedoin Motorsports, how do I get Halo Spartan armor? Um, if you've watched our videos and you have questions about where do we get our props and our armor, uh, armor. Armor. Uh, we get a lot of it from other cosplayers. Uh, a lot of the Spartans in there were other people that we know, know and knew. Um, if you are a cosplayer and would love to work with us, we would love to collaborate with you. Yes. Also, our main prop maker is the amazingly talented Tim Wynn. He you makes. You guys know that though. Yeah, and if you don't know that, you should all you should get to know him <laughs> and follow him on you know Instagram and all that sort of stuff. But uh, Tim is our master prop maker, so he makes a lot of the things that yeah. we use. We uh, we would like to potentially maybe in the future release more Halo um, content and potentially a Throwback Thursday. We might publish Respawn or yeah. something like that yeah. um, in the future. We'd love to also work with other cosplayers out there who are into Halo. Um, again, another shout out. So if you wanted to make a Halo web series with us in the future, um, join our email list. Or anybody who wants to keep updated, we have an email list. Um, just send an email to totally at freakingrad.com. Introduce yourself, say hi, we'll add you to the list, and it's really simple. So something that we've been asked to talk about um, from some of our followers is the process of filmmaking itself. And something that we really pride ourselves in is creating pretty high production value, which um, we feel like we're pretty good at doing for relatively low cost, but there are times where you just can't really cut corners and you have to spend money, so. Yeah, there's a classic old saying like time, money, quality. And we obviously wanna have the highest quality and so we either have to spend time or money. So usually it means it just takes a long time. Mm -hmm. I would say that probably for every hour on set that we spend, we're spending somewhere between 10 times or 100 times that behind the scenes. So that's either pre-production, post-production, visual effects. It could take a hundred hours, including render time, just for every hour that we spend shooting. So if we have a three-day shoot, 
we're not able to make videos more often because of that, because it takes so much time in between and because we don't just have the money to pay other people to do special effects or edit or, you know, uh, whatever else is needed. Um, that's why we are trying to do more vlog content um, because YouTube actually, their alg algorithm actually demands that we put up content for you guys, which we want to do and we want to keep doing and we absolutely, that's our passion. Um, but it gets a little difficult to put up the type of content that we want to do just because YouTube doesn't favor that. Yeah, so so we're gonna try to put out as much content as we can, as quickly as we can, and also we will keep you posted with up-to-date vlogs like this so that you know what we're doing. We're not just sitting on our laurels, um, which is the old-fashioned way of saying sitting on our butts. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for being freaking rad with us, and we will talk to you in the future. Later. I hit it.